Riyadh Metro, one of the world's biggest metro projects. Riyadh is the capital of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. It reflects a rapidly changing microcosm of global trends in transportation congestion. The client's challenge was to provide a solution to the increasing number of cars and its impact on traffic congestion. The fact that Riyadh plans to double its population by 2030 is another major challenge that had to be taken into consideration. Therefore, the planning of the metro system had to take into account this projected population increase. Building the metro system is part of King Abdulaziz's project for Riyadh public transportation and will consist of six metro lines spanning a total length of 167 kilometers, with 85 stations. The project will cost $22.5 billion to build. Do you want to know more about this project? Let's find out together. All you have to do is to like and subscribe. Welcome back to the Billion Dollar Projects channel. Construction of the Riyadh Metro project began in April 2014, while tunneling work on Line 1 started in July 2015. Following the Mecca Metro, which was opened in November 2010, the Riyadh Metro system will be the second metro system in the country. In the Arabian Peninsula, the metro system will be the fourth, in the Arab world, the sixth, while in the Middle East, the 15th. And guess what? This metro system is the longest in the world. Amazing, right? So who are the contractors involved with the Riyadh Metro project? ADA awarded the design and construction contract of the Riyadh Metro to three consortiums, BACS, Ariad New Mobility, ANM, and FAST. In August 2013, the BACS consortium includes Bechtel, Almabani General Contractors, Consolidated Contractors Company, Siemens, and AECOM. The consortium is led by Bechtel and is responsible for designing and constructing Lines 1 and 2 under a $9.4 billion contract. It is also responsible for the train cars signaling electrification and integration of the lines to the metro network. ANM's $5.2 billion contract includes the construction of Line 3 of the metro, Qasr al Hakam Station and Western Station. The ANM consortium includes Ansaldo STS, Cellini Ampragilo, Larson and Turbo, Nesma, Bombardier, Hydra Consulting, IDOM, and Worley Parsons Arabia. Larsons and Torbo and Nesma are providing civil work services. Bombardier is responsible for the procurement of the vehicles. We already told you that this metro system will be 176 kilometers long, with six lines and 85 stations, including underground, elevated, and at-grade sections. So let's take a look at that six lines. Line 1, the blue line, will run from Olea Street to Al Hayer Road. It will be 38 kilometers long and will include 22 stations and four transfer stations connecting to other metro lines. The red line, or Line 2, will connect King Abdullah Road to the King Fahad Stadium. It will be 25.3 kilometers long and have 13 stations along with three transfer stations. The longest line of the metro will be the 40.7 kilometer long Line 3, or Orange Line, which will run from Medina El Manawra to Rahman El Awal Road. Line 4, the 29-kilometer yellow line, will run from the King Khaled International Airport to the new King Abdullah Financial District, KAFD, and include eight stations. Line 5, the green line, will be 13 kilometers long and start from King Abdul Aziz Road. It will include 11 stations and two transfer stations. Line 6, the purple line, will start at King Abdullah Financial District and end at Prince Saad ibn Abdulrahman El Awal Road. Featuring six stations, it will be 21 kilometers long and mostly above ground. But what about stations? ADA selected three architecture firms to design and build three major stations of the system, namely the Olaya Metro Station, the Downtown Metro Station, and the King Abdullah Financial District Metro Station. Gerber Architect and designed the Olaya Metro Station. The station will be located at the intersection of Lines 1 and 2 and will feature a public plaza, a large entrance hall, and an open concourse. The station will have a gross floor area of 68.85 square meters and a gross volume of 387 meters cubed. ADA is expected to invest $20 million in the station. Snowheda designed the downtown station, Qasr al Hokum. The station is being constructed between Al Medina Al Munawara Street and King Faisal Street. The station will act as a transport hub for lines 1 and 3. Zaha Hadid was selected to design and build King Abdullah Financial District KAFD, metro station. The station is located at the east of the Northern Ring Road and slightly west of the King Fahad Road. It will serve lines 1, 4, and 6. 
renewable energy will be used to provide power for all the metro stations. So guys, have you noticed that we keep talking about the metro system and we haven't mentioned what the trains will be like? Alstom provided 69 metro trains for the Riyadh Metro project, with the last train set shipped in February 2019. It also agreed to supply its Urbalis signaling system, a train braking, an energy recovering system called HESOP, and Apatrack, a new technology to install tracks faster. The metro trains will be operated in automated mode. Each train will have two cars. The driverless metro train will be 36 meters long and 2.71 meters wide. Bombardier Transportation built 47 Innovia Metro 300 train sets in Mexico, and the trains are shipped by DHL to Riyadh. The driverless trains aim to provide a comfortable and convenient riding experience for passengers. Siemens agreed to provide 67 Inspiron-type Metro vehicles for lines 1 and 2, with two to four cars each, suitable for operation in adverse climate conditions. What do you say? Do you like this project or are you more into driving a car? You can write all your thoughts and criticisms in the comments and we will be happy to read them. Just don't forget to turn on the notifications so you don't miss more videos like this one. Like and share the video. Hope you enjoyed it. We will meet you soon again.